getting it, cuz. Send that thing. It's your boy, Jay Mitch. Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy, Jay Mitch. It's been a while, guys. I'm going to say, if you haven't yet, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to your man's channel. Uh, before we get into it, I'm going to say it's been a while. Yeah, man. You know, I know I did. I posted a speed run video the other day, um, and I've been trying to get some speed runs, and every day there's just been something. And um, unfortunately, today it was raining, so I couldn't get out and get any numbers. Um, but anyway, um, wanted to bring you guys some content, give you an update to see what's going on in your boy's crib, what the good things is. So this is going to be a J. Mitch goodies unboxing video. So, it's a lot of stuff to unbox. I just gather all the stuff that you guys haven't seen that's new in, in the workshop and share with you guys here on YouTube. So also too, another thing I wanna say is thank you to all my subscribers. Finally eclipsed that 3000 sub mark. So thank you all so much for sticking with me and hanging there with your mans and stay with me for the latest content, the latest and greatest in RCs. Um, and uh, we're just gonna get to the shits, guys. So, call it unboxing, call it whatever. This is just Jay Mitch's RC Goodies updates. Some of the stuff I've had for a while and just haven't shared with you guys. And a lot of it is just things I've gotten over the last couple of weeks. So without further ado, um, let's talk about it. Now I'll try to subsection everything into what it is. So first thing, I did get the Cobra 8 ESC Limited Gold Edition. Um, this is the Cobra 8 paired with the 8S or, 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 or a um, Castle 2200 Golden ESC. I mean, I'm trying to keep it sealed in the box, but I kind of feel like people are like, yo, Jay, just show us the damn thing. All right, I'm just going to unbox it for y'all. It is an un RC unboxing, so I might as well just, you know, just unbox it and let y'all see what's going on. I don't have any rigs or plans to put this in anything yet. Whatever I put it in, it's nine times out of 10 gonna be a shelf queen. Um, I just thought like the limited gold edition was something cool just to have on the shelf, man. Cause you guys know I got a ton of ESCs just sitting around. Um, so take you guys, let you look at the ESC first. Cobra 8 ESC, open him up. Here it is, the Cobra 8. Comes with the new castle link. Uh, connector and then there's the Cobra 8 ESC inside pretty cool ESC. I already have one in my um, My team Corali Asuga as I was part of the beta testing for that ESC um, So this is just a brand new one in the box. So I uh, just wanted to show you the ESC Put that to the side and The biggest thing for me was this motor it's, the, it's just a 2200 V2 sensor motor. It's the same V2 sensor motor that's available now when you get a 2200, with the exception that it's gold. Now, I have not seen uh, them selling this motor as a separate purchase. Like, I don't think this is something you can purchase without the combo right now. But the fact that it's gold, like, that's just turning me on, guys. That's just doing it for me, dog. So uh, yeah, I had to get it. Your man's had to get it. Uh, gotta have gold. I'm like gold member. I like gold. <laughs> nah, tripping. Uh, yeah, though, I had to have that gold member, you know, for something. I don't know what's gonna go in, but nine times out of 10, I really didn't, like I said, I didn't have plans to put anything. Um, I just wanted to have it and maybe just keep it in the sh on the shelf as just, you know, a trophy for now. I usually like to run all my stuff, but sometimes every once in a while, it's something that comes along that's a limited edition and, you know, you just don't want to tear it up or you really don't want to, you know, take away from it. This is one of those things for me. Uh, unless I come across a used one, I'm planning on just keeping this one in the box and on the shelf for now. All right. Next thing, you guys, I got a gang of new tires. Now, I love these tires. If you guys remember, it's been a while since I ran it. My, <laughs> I technically think it was the first 
Crate Hobby EXB. Basically, it's a Crate Hobby built with all EXB components. Um, and I'm running these tires on it, these Power Hobby um, belted. They're belted, um, they're Defender MX38s, um, but they are really good. And like, unlike typical belted tires, these tires are, they're not like the low profile dub looking tires and they actually do balloon somewhat. So they're perfect for doing stunts and things with. So I had to get a set of these, Adams had, had these up at the shop and your man had to get them. Now, I don't know what these are gonna go on because I don't have any new truckies that I wanna try this on yet. Um, but for the price, I just had to get them, man. $60 a set if you're looking for a set. How's your boy Adam from RC? How are Adam from RC discount? Tell me your man Jay Mitch sent you as usual. He'll take care of you. All right, next. Dude, I went up to Adam's and um, I was looking for a set of guitars. I wanted the guitars to run on my Suga. I thought these would be pretty damn nice to run on my Team Corrali Asuga. And it took forever to come and he never got them. So I moved on to my MX um, uh, 2.8s, my trenchers, the low profile trenchers for my Asuga and they ran pretty good, but these were just sitting up there for so long, they finally came in. It, it took like, a couple, like I wanna say four or five months for him to get these, but they showed up later and they were up there and I was like, all right, man. He said, look, you know, he gave me a deal. I was looking at something else. He said, you buy these tires, you buy this and I'll cut you a little bit more break. So that's how I ended up with these. These are some of my favorite tires. I love these tires. If you're doing like neighborhood racing, I think if like you're not trying to stunt and you're looking to do some speed bashing, you know, or you want to do some off-road speed runs, I really like these tires for eighth scale truggies um, and definitely oversized eighth, uh, seven scale buggies. I like these tires a lot. Belted, they're directional. That's the only takeaway from these. And these are the belted guitars. The, the original ones were not belted, but I still like those too. Um, but them being belted adds another flair. So maybe one day I'll use these on a Suga. I don't know, maybe I'll get another Italian one day. I love my Italian um, and I kind of regret selling mine. But if it ever comes back around, I'll have a set of guitars. All right. So on my Red Cat, y'all see her over there. Take you guys over there. The Red Cat rear A arm broke, so I finally replaced that. But when I was up there, Adam actually had more Red Cat parts, and I saw that my cage may have broken on one of my falls too. And I just think it was worth having. So I bought the Red Cat external cage for my um, my vigilante. So that's what that is, just a spirit cage. Uh, next thing, uh, a couple, maybe like last week, uh, there were some sales, you know, they try to do the, the spring Black Friday in places. So I saw these drill bits, little bits for, you know, drills and things. So I picked up a piece of some of these. I think these will work really nice with my DeWalt screwdriver. Um, just a nice piece. I think these were like 15 bucks for this set. So I saw that I had to get that. And then I um, went to Walmart and I was looking for some drill bits. And I saw this set, I think it was like 21 bucks. Looks solid. I needed drill bits, but also has some drivers and parts in here too. So why not? To me, you can never have too many drill driver accessories. So got those. Next thing we got, again, up at Adams, messing around at Adams. Uh, the homie, I don't know if you guys know him, Vince, speed run king right now. Um, he's right there, doing them 200 mile per hour passes every week. Um, he had a Promoto MX. Um, I guess it wasn't for him. And um, he was up there at Adams and Adams started breaking it down. And I got a good price on some trill parts. And I, I know I said I was done with putting upgrades on my Pro Moto, but uh, you know, I'm a sucker for a deal. Y'all know that. So with that being said, I bought all these hop-ups. This whole top assembly with the triple trees and everything already uh, installed and the servo on here, stock servo on here. Got that, all the trill parts. Here's the trill, I guess, uh, ESC cover, top cover for that. Also, Got the carbon fiber sides for the Promoto. Very interesting. Saw those that are cool. And I saw the shock, the green shock. So all those parts are for my Promoto. 
not this gold one, the green one. The green one still has plastic, so most of that stuff is going to replace the plastic parts on this promo that I still have not yet sold. Had many people interested in buying it. I don't want to sell this one. I kind of want this to be my basher one, but I'm thinking with all those parts I just bought, it's about to be, hopefully it's not going to be another shelfie, man. I don't want to have another shelfie pro moto. I want one to go 100 miles an hour, and I want one to be able to pull out on the shelf, off the shelf, and when people come over and I want to impress them, uh, I wanted to bring them this. So, with that being said, another thing that came out of this pro moto was this ESC. It is a brand new Mamba Monster X. He just removed this fan shroud, so I ordered a new fan shroud for it. And also it has a BEC installed to run on the Pro Moto. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use this on my Pro Moto. I think this is, um, I don't need two speed run Pro Motos. So I think I'm gonna use this in another future build. Um, and here's the motor that he was using, the TP Power. Um, uh, it's a, undisclosed kv i don't want to really go into the kv because maybe i will use this motor for speed running at some point but for right now i'm gonna stick to what i have and then also you can't do all that stuff to the pro moto without getting some gears here are all the internal gears for the pro moto and of course while i was up at adams again you can never have too many tools your man's had to pick up uh this speed speed tips as if i don't have enough speed tips to uh <laughs> to uh, use, I, I love tools, so there's nothing wrong with having some more spare speed tips. All right. So, let's see what else we got. Actually, I'm gonna put all my Promoto stuff <laughs> with the Promoto, so I know where it is when I'm ready to work on it, okay? All my Promoto goodness. All right. So now, the next thing we have, um, I know you guys are like, damn, John, you gotta open up stuff, I know. I gotta open up stuff, man, get beer with me. Beer with your boy. I know I got that, that, that trusty, handy unboxing knife over there, but um, I need to get a cool one, like like a lot of these YouTubers have, had like little looking swords and stuff. But I have, recently bought a an unbreakable body uh for which i don't see it where is my unbreakable body all right i see it all right so here's my unbreakable dodge ram body um of course it doesn't come with vinyls so i had to order a vinyl kit um from the homie max custom designs and prints shout out to pat mccarthy um he's definitely on facebook dope guy been in the game for a long time he makes some of the best vinyls if you got a body he might already have the vinyl in stock um he say, sells on ebay you can reach out to him on facebook he can get you your vinyls hook you up this car didn't come with vinyls so i saw the vinyl set decal set on face on ebay so ordered them bad boys sent me back 15 bucks so if you got an unbreakable body or any kind of rc body um even i, I order vinyls for one of my my nero success big rocks um you know that i bought an unbreakable body for it and it did not have um uh vinyls it was just a big black body no, no windows or anything i i ordered a set of vinyls for that body from uh uh, Max Custom RC Design. So check him out. Shout out to him. Thank you for hooking me up uh, with that. All right. So even more goodies. Even more goodies. You guys already know what this is. I'm not going to do a full unboxing of this. This is going to be the unboxing of the unboxing. <laughs> I'm going to do a whole separate video of the unboxing for this. Uh, is this a brand new truck? Look. This is the one that, this is how your, when your hobby shop gets it, this is the box that comes in for your hobby shop. This is, still has a display sale sticker. You know, when you put it up on your shelf, hobby's gonna display it in the, in the shelf. Like they give you the display stuff. I ain't gonna use that. But it is the brand new Typhon Grime, guys. I'm not gonna unbox it. I did end up getting the blue and silver one. I'm gonna do a whole separate video, build video on this. To go along with my Typhon Grime, I'll give you guys a sneak peek. I already had a brushless motor for this. 
And then this is the brushless ESC I'm planning to use. It is a sensor uh, 10BL60 3S capable ESC, 60 amp ESC. That's what's going to be used with this, along with my Amazon special motor. I was thinking about going in um, with the castle combo in it. Everybody's doing a castle combo, but I know the mini cars ain't really my thing. So I didn't really want to spend too much money. The car by itself is 140 bucks. To get the castle combo is another 160, 70 bucks on top of that. Actually, I think it's 180 bucks for a little mini, you know, motor and ESC. I just didn't think, I don't think it's, you know, not for, I'm, I'm not gonna run it a lot. So I didn't want to have a $400 little mini car and then not gonna be able to sell it. Nobody's gonna buy a small car for 400. So I just want to keep a minimal investment and just something fun to have on the shelf. You know, put it in my back of my car, keep it in the in the glove box or something when I want to have some fun one day after work or something, or even on lunch at work. So even more goodies I bought from Adam. Uh, I bought some foam wheels, some contact foam wheels for the Armor Grant, uh, the Armor uh, Typhon Grom. Uh, so of course I am going to make it go fast. You know, I gotta go. I ain't gonna try to break a hundred with it, but I'm gonna have some fun with this bad boy while I have it. Make it fast as hell. Take it outside. Uh, here's the. I think I already have one of these, but this is the people who are upgrading the brushless. Um, you will need one of these uh, servo mounts um, for the car to mount the ESC on top of. Also. I'll take you guys, I'll show you guys, man. I was, I thought I was being um, organized, uh, but here's here's a set of D-Boot Hoon Gold wheels. Now, I know you guys are like, why do you have a set of D-Boot Gold Hoons? Um, first of all, these are on sale. These are on sale at Tower Hobbies. I mean, every, all the hobby shops, A-Man, Horizon, Tower, they are selling D-Boot Hoon Golds a set for 20 bucks. I think normally they're like 40 bucks for a pair. So a set for 20 bucks. Adam had these up on the shelf used. Gave me a price on all four, undisclosed price. But let's just say, <laughs> I was planning on getting the, the <laughs> I was planning on uh, buying a set um, because of the price. But why not get these if, if you, you know, even if you can't get these, these are nice. I'm, I'm not planning to use these for speed run. These are going to be more for bashing. And I know you guys are like, bashing what, Jay? What are you going to bash with that? Well, I'll show you guys what I'll, I'm going to show you guys what I plan on bashing that bad boy with. Boom. All right. All right. You guys know this was another one. <laughs> this was another one. This thing came up on Marketplace. I woke up on a Saturday morning. It was sitting there. The guy was asking the low for it. I asked a couple questions. Oh, this is like a fraction in the outcast of two cars. I already always had a lot of them, but never kept them. And with the with the uh, infraction, I've never even read an infraction. I, I had a felony. I ran that once. Uh, limitlesses. I'll run the limitlesses all day. But the infractions, I, I like them. But I never like really used them, so I said I want a street basher. If I can, if I said if I ever could come across an infraction for the low, I'm going to get it. So that Saturday it popped up, and the guy was local, and he was ready to sell. So I said, dude, let's go, let's get it. So that's what we got. We got our infraction. Bought it as a roller slider roller roller collar roller. It does have GRPs on it. it has a nice servo on it. it. Has a couple nice upgrades on it. As you can see. The center drive shaft wasn't on the car because he didn't have a center diff. Uh, he told me he had a center diff, but he didn't have a center diff. I actually wanted a center diff for this car. I didn't want to have a spool. Um, so I'm trying to, I'm, I'm still, you know, I got a couple of spools I could just throw on here. But I really want this just to be like a street basher, but I could probably use a spool and street bash it, look, gear it nice and low and enjoy it. But it's a clean, honest roller. Actually, it was this was a win. He won a 250. I showed up, it was stuff missing. The center diff was the biggest thing. And uh, I got it for the roll, guys. I got a nice, clean, with upgrades. You see the upgrades on it. Got the aluminum side brackets. Got a very nice servo on it. Golden, um, I think this is a Protec servo. Um, very nice servo. And even had even more 
aluminum hop ups on the bottom. You can see he's used it, but it's not torn up. It's an honest, it's an honest used car. It's not too beat up. So this car still has plenty of life on it. Really not beat up. The GRPs, these look like they're S5 GRPs. Um, but I could use these to bash on, but I think I'm gonna put the gold hoons on it for the street side of the game. Um, and yeah, the body, like if you look at the body, the body's not beat up at all. It looks like there's some lights on there. Yeah, there's lights on the body. Oh, he took the lights out. So there were lights on there, but he, he disconnected the lights, but I could probably put the light kit back on there if I wanted to. And um, yeah, that's what that is. So that's what I got the gold hoons for. Got the gold hoons for the infraction. And not that I needed it, but I wanted it. My team Karali Kagama body. Um, I have, I, my, my body's still in usable shape, but it is getting beat the hell up on the used side of the game. Shock towers are coming through the top here. Um, gotta figure that out. It's still a very usable body, but it, to me, it's not as pretty anymore. anymore. And I love this green body. This is like my favorite color of all of the Team Corrales. All of them are actually very nice. I'm surprised how nice that blue one looks. I don't want a blue car, but I saw an unboxing on a blue one. I saw one in person. It was very nice, but this green is it. The green is the one to get, guys, on the Team Corrales side of the game. Um, actually, I saw the uh, orange. I saw the orange uh, new Synchro. If I was getting a Synchro, I would get an orange one. They're freaking beautiful. But I'm not getting a Synchro. 4S ain't for me. And um, I, I, I probably wouldn't keep it that long. I think the only way I would buy another Eve Scale buggy at this point is either to speed run it or if you know, if I got back out running with the fellas regularly, you know, we, they had the little off-road races and stuff, little neighborhood racing type style bashing that we used to do, I would consider getting another buggy at that point. But right now, I would not buy another buggy. I'm a truggy guy, um, and I'm a fifth scale guy, and I'm a speed run guy. Um, so, but that, all guys know I've been making deals with the homie Roger Jackson, man. We've been doing stuff, man. Uh, but bought a couple RC lots off of him. What can I say? Couple, couple more things. This was one of the things in the lot, not the Raminator. <laughs> this Gold Track scooter, very nice scooter. Came with another lot. It's pretty much brand new. Came with a battery, uh, and an additional battery and a charger. This scooter is good up to I think like 30 miles an hour got keys on it pretty cool electric electric scooter i've I ridden it once it might be for sale i doubt if you want to want me to ship it i can't ship the ship is going to be a million bucks if you're local in the, in the philadelphia area you got that money and you interested hit me up i'll make a deal on it and we can go from there all right this was a pivotal platform in the 100 mile per hour game and it's even more precedence that it was built by the man Kenny Malenko himself himself this is an HPI Borza speed run buggy roller this was again part of the lot that came from Roger Jackson he's like man it's just sitting around I'm like dude what do you think I'm gonna do with it it's just gonna be sitting around with me too but it's very nice it's very clean it's a nice roller you see it's got the white grps on it i'm gonna take the lid off for y'all it's just a roller it does have a save box server on it spooled up it's ready to go has a saga custom carbon fiber um wing on it you can see there's a carbon fiber shock tower on the back on the front there's like really no shock tower existing there's a minimal shock tower to fit the speed run body on but you can see there's some touches on there spooled up um and it's a very clean very clean roller hpi gorza i love the gorza uh, it's a little heavier buggy but i can see why people liked it for the speed run the front the front of it is locked the suspension is locked the rears are very stiff I have to have a feeling and throw a motor and ESC and the receiver in this thing. This thing will go 100 miles an hour all day. It is something that if somebody was interested, I could put a number on it. But I'm not going to put a number on it in this video because I don't think I really want to sell. This is speed run. This is nostalgic. Um, I might want to hold on to this for a little bit. See, you got all the OG speed runners on there. Look, got Ripple Killer. 
<laughs> you got Kenny Malenko, you got RC wig splitters. I mean, you got every kind of sticker castle creation, a main T techno ad. Like this is an OG speed runner ready for that work straight out of the DMV. Um, so yeah, I can't really put a number on it because I ain't really trying to sell it. <laughs> um, I didn't get a chance to show this one the last time, but if anyone's interested, I have a brand new Radio Master ELRS radio. Brand new Radio Master ELRS. This is like the third or fourth one I had. I can't keep them. Whenever I have one, people want them. So I don't really hold on to them that long. But the one what makes this special, again, shout out to Roger Jackson. Um, he's like, yo, I ain't gonna use it. Throw it in the lot. All right, cool. Um, so it's a brand new ELRS version, not the 4-in-1. So the ELRS is known for the, its range. It's the new speed run radio that I'm using in my car. Um, but this isn't the one I'm using, but this is the same model, but mine's is a 4-in-1. And if you notice on mine, I have the module up front because mine's is natively for the 4-in-1 model. But to have the ELRS functionality, I had to get the, the module to make it be ELRS. This one is ELRS, um, native so you don't need a module this already has the long range uh transmitter built into it so all you need is the receiver you're gonna get that miles and miles of range uh that people are looking for and you don't have to have that ugly range extender <coughs> on the car and the receivers for these can be half for under 30 bucks the long range extenders can be half for under 30 bucks um and dude hey Take my word for it. This is this is the the new radio. I mean, I love my Futaba, but you know, even with the Futaba, you gotta mod it and do all that work. You don't have to mod this. And the best thing is this radio, brand new, is under 150 bucks. And mine, this one actually uh, has the um, lifey. If I can open the damn thing. All right, this has the. 5,000 milliamp lipo battery. This is not included in the radio. These batteries run another 25, 30 bucks. If anyone's interested, I will sell this. Um, let me know. I will I will do 150 bucks shipped on this brand new radio. And I believe there's a receiver included with this. I'll make sure of it. Um, and if there isn't, I'm sure I have one that I can throw in, uh, in here. I'm pretty sure there's a receiver in here though. Let me see, boom. Yep, got the receiver, everything brand new. Like I said, this is sealed. Brand spanking new, guys. Yeah, receiver's right there. And this is a cool radio. Again, if someone's interested, 150 brand new with the receiver and the lifey pack. Um, holler at me if you're interested. Email me, jmitch, j.mitch.rc at gmail.com if you're interested. Uh, 150 bucks ship. Um, all right, guys, that's going to be it. Again, just wrapping up the video. Thank you all again for helping my channel be successful to 3,000 subs. I don't do this to be viral. I do this because I enjoy it. I, I do and show the types of RCs I'm interested in. I'm not influenced by any companies. There's companies I love. There's companies I don't love. If I love your product, I'll rock with you. If I don't, I'm going to keep it real with you. Um, but with all that said, thank you all. I'm going to say also remember that we go live every Sunday night. And when I say we, I mean me, the homie Big Gat, uh, Rattle Can on Lexan, Ted, uh, Super Dave, Big Reg, RC, Game Dog 75, 75 Game Dog, Doc, we all in there. We all in there, uh, the best RC blog podcast. Every Sunday night we live uh, after nine, like between nine ten and nine twenty five. We start our lives. Check us out. It's a live chat that goes on. We'll answer some questions. We'll talk that talk that good talk. You know what I mean? We're gonna shoot the good talk. We're gonna talk about all the RC greatness during the week, and we're gonna make jokes. And you're going to see a, a group of guys having some shop talk live and y'all can y'all can y'all can take part in that by sharing some of y'all ideas and chats and also um just just check us out so anyway it's time to end the video um shout out to my homie dave hubbard rest in peace big bro
Shout out to uh, Big Willie. Shout out to Ted. Shout out to Adam from RC Discount. Shout out to Hector and Mark from RC Discount. Shout out to everybody who supports your man's channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, everyone. Y'all be good now. Peace. GoPro, stop recording.